Hello and welcome to this short overview um, of a feature within the post-processing capability of MSC Apex. Now to put this in context, historically in the MSC product set with Nastran, it's not been a straightforward thing to create uh, shear force and bending moment diagrams for, for beam-like structures. There's capability within the old supermodel um, environment in MSC Patran and there's capability in MSC flight loads or you can create uh, monitor points within Nastran um, to output uh, section forces and moments to the FO6 file to, to generate your plots in Excel, for example. But there's some very nice capability has been introduced in MSC Apex, which I would like to show you now. So I have a model I've already created. So I browse to pick up my model file, which is that one there. And then I'm going to browse to pick up the results. As you can see, I can import the results at the same time. Just change my unit system here. So I am working in millimeter, ton, second, newton, etc. Um, just import that. So turn the thickness plot on so you can see I've got this this hollowed out ribbed um, tapered beam um, and if I go into post processing I can just do a simple stress plot on that so event one you can see I've got these two point loads so it's a simple straightforward cantilever tip load this is 20 newtons on a 3000 millimeter beam um, if I go to event two and do the same you can see I've got that tip load is added to by the series of four other point loads and a couple of pressure loads so a much more complicated environment in terms of a, a bending moment etc so how do I do this well provided and I have included uh, grid point forces in my results output when I ran the Nastran job what I can do is come back into the sensors here and I can create cross-sectional force sensors. So I'm going to create an array of them um, and I pick my part, I've asked for, for 20 sensors and what it's doing is uh, creating this along the length, of the, there's a, a line here which I can drag to reposition this to, to create the, the entity about which this is calculated but I'm going to um, so you can just drag those around. I'm just going to accept that. And it's created my 20 planes. Now, obviously, you can show, see there's a white uh, witness line to show where it intersects the mesh. And for instance, that one might be nice to line up with the pressure there. So I can individually move any of these using the capability built into Nastran. So I can drag, I can move, I can change um, to the right location. So that's good. Now I go back to post-processing. Get rid of that because I don't want it. Let's go back to event one. And I'm going to create an XY chart view. And I'm just going to drag that across to make it a little bit bigger. And what I do, you see my, my sensor array here, I can set that as my plot target then that allows me to come in here and I can plot the Y section force. So this is a longer length of the beam based on the forces calculated at those sections. So as you remember, I had a 20 Newton uh, tip load on here. So my shear force, 20 Newtons all the way along the line. And if I go to my, my bending moment, which is about X, you can see it decays from, from 60,000 down to zero, which is what you'd expect for, for a tip load on a cantilever beam. So that's great. Um, if I go back up here and I do an XY chart view for the other one, drag that across. Uh, again, I want to make that a plot target. And then I come back down here and I can plot my Y force, which, as you'd expect, because of the combination of point loads and pressures, is a more complicated shear force diagram. And then I can go into my bending moment again, 
about x, and you get um, plot similar to what you'd expect. So with those created, I can then export that out to a comma separated values table if I wish, or I can screen capture this to, to paste into my report. So I think anybody who's used Patran to do this in the past will agree that that's, that's quite an elegant way of creating it, particularly um, as you don't need to go through a lot of effort. The, the, the array of sections is, is made for you um, and it's, it's really very easy to use. So thank you very much for your attention.